Right, so now we've purchased our domain name and uh, the, got the hosting account sorted out, we need to access our control panel of the hosting and install WordPress. So you'll have a an email from Namecheap like this and inside there is the package information for your hosting account. If you scroll all the way down we're going to look at the cPanel access and you can see it gives you a cPanel URL and a username and password to log in. So we're going to copy the control panel URL and we're going to paste it into our browser bar and you'll see a screen like this, this is a login screen so we need to copy the username enter that into there and then we want the password as well so we'll copy the password paste that into the box and then click on login and it will give you a um, welcome pop up like this just click on no I'm fine thanks and leave that as it is so this is a cPanel this is what controls uh, your hosting account and allows you to install uh, scripts and uh, set up email addresses and all that sort of stuff what we're looking for if we scroll down um, Softaculous App Installer and you'll see WordPress there we're going to click on that and you'll be faced with a screen like this and this is the overview screen we want to click on the blue install button and then it says choose protocol so from the drop down box there choose http forward slash www dot we're going to put that before the domain name and ask you what directory so we're going to use wordpress to build our website so we don't need it to be in a separate directory leave everything else as it is and the site name you're going to call whatever your site's going to be called for this instance build a WordPress website and then the site description you'll put your description in there for now we'll just put in what we want to do so build a WordPress website we'll put the description learn how to build a website with WordPress you don't need to tick the box that says multi-site you need to create an admin username and an admin password I recommend that you don't use admin or the default settings so for this one we'll uh, call ourselves build wordpress website and I'll create a password now all these passwords obviously I'm going to change so for this instance just put 123QWE in for there leave everything else as it is and then click on install and that is done if we click on the URL of our website now the default theme is installed WordPress is installed on our website and we're ready to start going in here and changing everything to make it look a bit more better